Last to pitch is an educator from Cagayan de Oro City who aims to unburden teachers and students by improving faculty productivity. Hey, John and Christian. Hi, John. Hi, John. So I found out something really interesting about you guys. So you're co-founders in your startup, but you actually met accidentally. You met in a coffee shop. Yeah. That's correct. How did that happen? So it's just two tables, right? I approach him and then something sparked. Okay. We, step, we start um, talking to each other. Okay. And then later on, we uh, work with each other and then we became compares. <laughs> That's like, you know, that does not happen by accident. That happened for a reason. I do agree. We chose you here because we believe that what you have to offer the judges is something that is going to be good, not just for them as an investment, but for a lot of students uh, who you serve. So you're the last startups. You're up next. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you John. Good afternoon, judges. I am Christian Casino, and I am the sales and marketing head of Wella School System. I'm here today asking for 50 million pesos investment in return of 10% equity in my company. Eight out of 10 teachers with an average of 30 to 40 students per class is having a hard time to monitor each student, especially if they are stressed and burdened with paperwork. And 9 out of 10 parents doesn't have the peace of mind not knowing the going-ons of their child after they leave home. Especially there are parents need to go abroad, work to different places, need to leave their families, and they felt totally disconnected about their child's schooling. And now I bring you the school mobile application where all the parents will be updated anytime, anywhere. With this app, all the parents will be updated anytime, anywhere. And when it comes to our value proposition, using our platform, all the transactions of the school from news and announcement, updates, admission, billing and payments, gradings. With Wallace School System, it can be done as fast as 30 minutes compared to their traditional method that it takes one to four weeks to complete. The potential is really big. Um, it is the entire K-12 private schools, including the colleges here in the Philippines. And for the K-12 alone, it has a 3 billion pesos business value. We actually started last 2017 with three paying school. And now, this uh, school year 2022, we are already partnered with more than 190 plus private schools from kinder to colleges, and not just here in the Philippines, but also few and abroad. Over the years, using our technology, we were able to bridge the gap between the parents, the student, and the school. Join us to be the leading edutech when it comes to education technology. Thank you, judges. Um, may I call in my co-founder, Mr. John Vincent Phil? I can understand you want to expand your sales force, but why would you want to give up any piece of your company for investment when you seem to be perfectly capable of getting clients already? We want to go grow rapidly. Like other companies, they're getting investments yeah. to like expedite so the they process. they want to accelerate so is, their growth. Yeah. That's right. That's what we're looking into. We want to coat the Philippines, and just this year as, as well, we are creating our team in Indonesia, slowly exploring our, um, our reach there. Any, any customers in Indonesia? Yeah, we, we have one. So we just started by March and we were hoping to get at least three more this year, yes, our um, ad early adopters in Indonesia. I think we'd like to invest with you. Um, I'm still trying to think of how much of it, but. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna offer you 250,000 uh, US dollars at a five million valuation all right um, one of the things that we need to be looking at with you is your stakeholder engagement and your governance uh, policies so the deal for me is this uh, I don't want to offer quite as much as uh, as uh, UBX uh, I'll offer uh, 50k USD. I still think the 5 million valuation is probably uh, appropriate. What we'll do is we'll work with your company to make sure that 
you have the appropriate engagement with the NLAs, national line agencies, with the appropriate governance, your organization will learn how to engage stakeholders appropriately. And of course, we will be able to expose you to other countries as well. Right, uh, so I'm very interested in what you guys are doing, um, but I definitely couldn't lead any round. I mean, I'm definitely minor compared to uh, what, what John Jay have of offers so as I would be anchoring uh, to his offer um, uh, but also contingent to I guess the terms and the term sheet that will come up with uh, post this one uh, but I'm willing to add uh, $25,000 to the same terms. I, I guess the, the offer is um, the best but if you could just give us at least five minutes to, to talk about it. Do you need my help? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So John is offering parang half of the valuation, right? Mm -hmm. Like um, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, that is twelve million somewhere around twelve million five hundred four five percent. So that but is you were originally offering uh, five million for one percent. Yeah. Oh, okay. So half. <laughs> and the rest of them is offering the same valuation. Yeah, the same. Yeah. Yeah. They're just out adding up, yeah. topping up. So basically, so basically, John Jay is leading the round. So Francis was <coughs> interested, so was Brad. They really needed to anchor on mm -hmm. someone who would lead the round. Yeah. So it looks like John Jay and his team are very interested to work with you guys. Mm -hmm. So I think bottom line, what did you come here for? What did you come here on this show for? <sighs> That's all I'm going to say. I mean, you guys decide. Okay. It's your company. If you want them on board, I think uh, I think you know what to do. Okay. Thank you for your offer, investor judges. Like what Chris said, we really like the offer, and even the you know extension of helping us to you know go offshore or help us with our operations. It's just that um, the valuation uh, that we would like to uh, negotiate with. Okay, what you asked for was one million U.S. dollars at a ten million dollar valuation. Yeah. What I'm offering is two hundred and fifty thousand U.S. dollars at a five million dollar valuation. All right. Uh, thank you, John. We also wanted to hear um, again the the offer of rent. So, for us, we're going to offer fifty. Okay. Thank you for that, Brad. And. Uh, Francis, you're offering uh, okay, so for from my end, um, anchoring on, on on them, it's twenty five thousand uh, dollars. But of course, I'll be your resource. You know, thinking about the product, technology, and any financial rails that you may need as well. So, All right. It's, um, it's kind of confusing. So it's, it's really hard to choose. Um, but um, we'd like to accept the offer from the tree. Welcome to Wella. <laughs> Atinta. All right. Well done, guys. Thank you. So there were three of them who got interested and offered. Considering their expertise and more than the fun that they can provide, we welcomed them on board, the three of them. So yeah, we, we're excited to work with the three. <laughs> Hopefully, we can create a great synergy. Well, thanks for tagging along, guys. I mean, yeah. I think it uh, I think it helps them out. Um, I'm actually curious about, I guess, the, the thinking that you had to go through and you know, making this decision. You know, we, we always looked at certain ecosystems that were very fractured in the Philippines as opportunity areas. Secondhand mobility, like motorcycles and cars, is like one of them. Healthcare, a, a huge one, but education. And the thing about education is, like, it is core and deep to everyone, right? Like people care about education and they definitely spend money on it. <laughs>